hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another um episode of small meals with small stuff um today we are cooking once again because that is what small meals with small stuff is but we are cooking um i'm finally making the creamy chicken that i promised you guys from the last cooking video um so i will be letting you guys know all the ingredients and everything i use i hope you guys really really enjoy it i, I think it's a good creamy pasta i really do um I want to thank you guys for being so supportive like you guys support me in everything everything i post instagram twitter everywhere you guys are really so supportive and i'd like to thank you guys so so much for that i really really appreciate you guys and we are so close to 100k subscribers i can like taste it yeah that's a bad joke to me considering that i'm about to cook but i can taste 100k and remember we are having a giveaway when we get to 100 thousand subscribers um i asked in one of my videos if you guys would want hair or makeup as a giveaway and you most people said both so i'm going to do a big hamper of hair and hair products as well as makeup so please be on the lookout for the minute i reach 100k and i will obviously be choosing a winner randomly from the comments section because i really like hearing from you guys i really, really enjoy hearing from you guys and i feel like there are certain videos that i post that don't um need a comment like my previous um vlog but you guys still pull through from because you guys know i really enjoy hearing from you guys so i really 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 do appreciate that um yeah let's get cooking my good looking Okay, first things first, for a creamy pasta, we need to make the pasta. So we are going to use a penne um, from this brand, um, Barilla or Barilla. It's a double L, so I'm not quite sure. But anyway, as a Vince graduate, I'd like to say it is a Barilla, and that's that on that. Um, so we're going to make our pasta, going to boil some water, and then in a pot, put oil and salt, and then put our pasta and then we are going to start make the creaminess <laughs> we are going to start making the creaminess of the creamy pasta let's get to it So now we're gonna put in some salt in our pot to taste our what's it called pasta no? and then and then we're gonna use some olive oil so that the pasta does not stick together as it's cooking or whatever and then we're gonna pour in our pasta Wow. There we go. I think that's enough. So yeah. Okay. So I put the stove on six and Obviously, you guys know how pasta is. It's going to bubble up and boil and whatever. And I have to keep opening and closing this thing. All that drama. So we'll deal with it when it gets there. Now, let's make the cream of the creamy pasta. So now we're going to take a small red onion. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use half of the whole thing. I think I'm going to use half. I think half is better than the whole thing. Or should I use the whole thing? Nah, let's do half. So we're going to chop this into fine pieces fine pieces so i'm gonna take that and i'm gonna put it in the pan I'm not sure if you guys can see into the pan. 
but and then i'm going to take some salted butter all right i'm gonna put that stove on like five i'm gonna put some butter in there instead of oil i use butter mostly unless like i really have to use oil then i'll use oil but i find that everything tastes much better with butter and then now i'm gonna go in with some now i'm gonna go in with some fresh garlic i don't even know how many cloves i'm gonna use as yet but this is a one pan beauty i use a lot of garlic because i find like everything tastes better with garlic but people don't like garlic so if you're not a fan of garlic maybe two cloves will be nice just for the taste but if you don't mind garlic and then i strongly suggest you use like five drama i was talking about the drama like for what good reason for what good reason Ooh. okay so now we're gonna put in our garlic with our onion right i don't personally i don't think i use a lot of garlic personally people might feel different but I think I actually use less garlic than I'm supposed to. But anyway, so while that sautés and whatever, let's prepare our chicken. So I'm going to be using the chicken breast from Woolies. Um, I prefer any chicken breast, even if they're from pick and pay or wherever. But this is where I was yesterday when I was getting like all the ingredients. So I just picked up chicken breast from there. Um, they are lying. The price is not this. This is the price. They are lying. This is a lie. So I like a lot of meat on my pasta. And I don't want... Excuse me. I don't want to search for my meat in my pasta. Like, I want to know, Woody, this is chicken. You know? This is a chicken pasta. I don't want it to be a pasta chicken. No, I want it... I want, with every bite, there must be a piece of meat. So I'm going to use two chicken breasts to make sure that there's a lot of meat in my pasta. And then I'm just going to dice those before I put them in my pan. Okay, now that that's ready, ooh, I'm gonna put this in here. And then now we are gonna spice it. So to spice my chicken, I'm gonna start with black pepper. You guys know me and black pepper are the best of friends forever and always. And I am not stingy with the black pepper ever. And then I'm gonna use some garlic and herb. And this is chicken, so I'm obviously gonna use some chicken spice. Just for the vibes, I'm gonna use some peri peri, a little bit like one, two type of vibe. I honestly think that was one, two, three, but we'll keep it at one, two.
it's actually very cooked it's cooked all the way through now we're gonna put in our mushrooms so for mushrooms i bought the ready sliced ones i hope you guys can see them bought the ready sliced mushrooms and then we're gonna add these in there So these mushrooms now, I'm not going to spice them separately. I'm just hoping that the good good from the chicken will like spice them. And I'll obviously taste afterwards. And if it doesn't make sense, then I will spice them. But I think I spiced the chicken enough for the chicken and the mushrooms. So for this, ooh, wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. So as I was saying, um, for the mushrooms to cook, I'm going to cover my pan so they can cook in peace with no disturbances. Right? Right. My pasta, on the other hand, is coming together. Ooh, can you guys see that? My pasta is coming together very nicely. I think it's ready now. Let me just taste one. I think it's ready and I don't want to overcook it. So I'm going to taste and then I think it's ready. I'm going to strain it. Then I'm just going to let it vibe out in there while I concentrate on my creaminess. Mm -hmm. It's ready. So I thought I was going to put baby spinach, but it seems like I forgot to buy some. But baby spinach would be perfect with this recipe. And now we are going to put some sun-dried tomatoes in there. So now, after letting this fry for some time, I'm going to use some clover full cream, um, cream, full cream, cream. <laughs> I'm going to use some clover cream. This is actually very thick, but it's fine. This is our creaminess. In there, we're gonna add some more chicken spice, just for more flavor. You guys know me and spice. I'm gonna add garlic and herb again. You guys know me and flavor have never cabanat, ever. And then I'm gonna use a quarter of a cube of this because we've already like seasoned our food a lot. But I also want this there. So I'm going to put like a corner. Literally a corner. That's how much I'm going to put. Right. Because our food is already so creamy and so rich. Also, I wanted to say to you guys. If you are on a diet, I strongly, strongly suggest against this meal. Because it's very rich and rich i guess <laughs> but yeah so now we're gonna put our basil pesto in there as well oh sorry so this i'm not stingy with at all this is my favorite part of the dish I literally love my basil pesto. It's 
so we're just gonna let that like vibe out and all the flavors to come together and then we're going to mix it in with our pasta so we can have our creamy pasta chicken pasta i don't know should i name it creamy chicken and mushroom pasta or chimmy chicken your chicken creamy chicken and sun-dried tomato and pesto pasta i don't know because all of these um what you call ingredients make sense together you know mm, that's really good mm. i'm gonna lower my stove to like three so that it vibes out nicely and doesn't like overcook it just like joins the flavors together I wish I had spinach for like that extra green color, you know? Mm, I can't get over this sauce. So while that vibes out and like does this thing, I wanted to tell you guys this recipe, ma'am, I didn't get it from anywhere, right? I once went to Tash's and I ordered, I think it's their chicken and pesto pasta. I'm gonna forgot man but it has all these ingredients right so i ate it and it was the most amazing pasta i've ever had in my life and i've always like dreamt about it like I, every time i have pasta i'm like oh i wish it was that wine you know so this other day i was like you know what if it i'm tired of daydreaming about this pasta i'm gonna make it so i bought all the ingredients that i tasted on that day and voila here we are so tasha's you got some competition or you could just hire me as a chef like it's really up to you honestly i don't want to like force you into a corner or anything I'd rather give you options so yeah like after that every time i make this pasta it tastes exactly exactly like that i don't know if you guys have had that pasta i really wish i could remember the name let me google the menu actually no man i'll just put it in the description box i'm tired so yeah um it tastes exactly the same and i wish you if you guys were like were to create it with me like make your own you guys will like see or taste you can't really see food okay you can't see food but you get what i'm saying man Eesh, english is not my mother tongue but yeah i'm so excited my tummy is like doing i'm a somersault so excited so now we bring back our pasta and now we're about to join these beautiful dishes in matrimony. I'm right-handed and I can't use my left hand for anything. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. But the angle of my camera forces me. But anyway, so we're gonna mix these two together in holy matrimony. So because I didn't have spinach, I'm just going to put some parsley for some color. Did I say some parsley? I meant I'm going to put a lot of parsley for some color. So I'm just gonna let it rest for like two more minutes and then I will show you guys the end product. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. So now I'm just gonna put a little more parsley for the pizzazz of the picture and then I'm gonna take a picture and then I'm gonna do an outro because hello pasta. This is what I want. Pizzazz everywhere. I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited to eat this. I hope you guys will also like try it out because it's so amazing. Okay, good guys. I am done making my beautiful pasta. Guys, I promise you it tastes as good as it looks because wowza. Um 
i hope you guys enjoyed it um please do comment and subscribe comment guys i really enjoy hearing from you guys please do comment like and subscribe let's get this channel to 100k please 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 i would really appreciate that and i will see you guys. i'm posting a vlog tomorrow i am posting a durban vlog tomorrow because balito balito bay vlog tomorrow because we went to balito like three two weeks or three weeks ago so that will be up tomorrow um please 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 enjoy this video and i love you guys so much